Gina Haspel is Donald Trump's nomination for director of the CIA. And we all know that the CIA can't be trusted. They're secretive. They kill people. They think they're God Almighty like every other federal agent. And they just never cooperate. Might have just said that. Anyway, this woman participated in torture. And I'm not, I don't necessarily agree with everything Kamala Harris says, but here is um during her senate hearing one of one of haspel's senate hearings kamala asked a question that is simple it's simple to answer but here's what happens one question i've not heard you answer is do you believe that the previous interrogation techniques were immoral senator i believe that cia officers to whom you referred it's a yes or no answer. Do you believe the previous interrogation techniques were immoral? I'm not asking, do you believe they were legal? I'm asking, do you believe they were immoral? Senator, I believe that CIA it's did extraordinary yes no work to prevent another attack on this country given the legal tools that we were authorized Please to use. Please answer yes or no. Do you believe in hindsight that those techniques were immoral? Senator, what I believe sitting here today is that I support the higher moral standard we have decided to hold ourselves to. Can you please to. answer the question? Senator, I, I think I've answered the question. No, you've not. Do you believe the previous techniques, now armed with hindsight, do you believe they were immoral? Yes or no? Senator, I believe that we should hold ourselves to the moral standard outlined in the Army Field Manual. Okay, so I understand that you're, you've not answered the question, but I'm going to move on. Uh, the president has asserted that torture works. Do you agree with that statement? Senator, I, I, I don't believe that torture works. I believe uh, that in the CIA's program, and, and I'm not attributing this to enhanced interrogation techniques, I believe, as many people, directors who have sat in this chair before me, that valuable information was obtained from senior al-Qaeda operatives that allowed us to defend this country and prevent another attack. Is that a yes? No, it's not a yes. We got valuable information from debriefing of Al Qaeda detainees, and I don't, I don't think it's knowable whether uh, interrogation techniques played a role in that. The fuck are you on? Mm, that was painful to watch. She couldn't answer one simple question. This wasn't a A, B, C, D, or all the above question. This was a simple yes or no answer. Is torture immoral? Now, there isn't really... Now, for a Senate hearing, there isn't really a right answer. You just gotta answer the question. Yes or no, is torture immoral? But she danced around it. She didn't answer yes or no. She danced around it. It's like, it was legal at the time. It provided us with valuable information. I stand by what was in the handbook. It was like, we got valuable information that prevented a terrorist attack. First of all, no, the fuck you didn't. Many reports, stats, and people who worked with the government during the failed Bush administration will tell you that it wasn't torture. In fact, it was, you can do more with a six-pack than a scalpel or waterboarding. And Sarah Payne was like, it's how we baptize the terrorists. You don't baptize people who don't want to be baptized, by the way. Anyway, that's the old footage. Um, also, speak also, S. John McCain, who, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, is the only Republican that I know that is against torture because uh, he went through that in Vietnam. He was in the Air I believe he was in the Air Force. It's been a while since I looked up his military career. He got shot down. He got captured by the, the North, either the Vo North Vietnamese Army or the Viet Cong, and he was tortured until he was released after the war was over. And he still suffers from that to this day. And I didn't vote for him. Wait, I could, well, I couldn't have voted for him at the time. Uh, but 
I do I do pray for him. He's a Republican, but I'm praying for him. No one deserves cancer. No one. Uh, but anyway, he will tell you that he and many people will tell you that while being tortured, people are willing to say anything just to get you to stop. They're willing they, under the after being tortured for so long, I would probably be willing to say that I had an affair with Ronald Reagan. I mean, it's impossible. I mean, I was 11 when he died. But I'm, I will say it if it means the, the torture ends. I'll confess to a crime I didn't commit if it means the pain stops. And also, even if, like, let's say torture works and it did give valuable information to prevent terrorists, it's not worth it morally. We're supposed to be the country with the moral high ground, not just the kick-ass military, which I'm all for having a kick-ass military, the best military in the world. Go America. But we need to have, we're supposed to be better, better than the enemy, not just more powerful. We're supposed to be able to say, yes, we fought the war and it was wrong because Bush lied about it, but at least everything else, we fought it by the rules of war. Fight it like General Lee fought the war in Virginia and Maryland and Pennsylvania. The, by the gentlemanly conduct of war. No torture, no killing of civilians, at least not intentionally, but also try to prevent that. Basically, don't just bulldoze your way going yeehaw, bam, 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 bam. Just killing everything in sight and then torturing people. Don't torture. It is immoral. People say, well, I've heard my mother, my own mother, God bless her, I love her, but she actually, I actually told her how I am against torture. She said, well, they do it to our soldiers. I'm like, mother, you and dad are the ones who told me that two wrongs don't make a right. Well, they're both Republicans. So, yeah. I'm tired of this, it's like, we're good by default, so, we're good by default, so it's okay when we do it. That's what a lot of Republicans think, it's like, America is good by default, so nothing we, we do is bad. It's okay when we do it, but when someone else does it, no. No, that's bad, it's evil, we gotta stop that. But when we do it, oh, we're America, we're good by default. I love America, I will never hate America, hate the government. Especially the current one, but I also I also am concerned for America's soul. I cannot, in good conscience, condone this sort of behavior. This now, as of right now, uh, at 11 p.m. May 17th, 2018, she is not the director of the CIA. Thank God for the moment. But six, as of right now, four to six Democrats, I think it's four, have joined in saying, okay, yeah, we'll have her. But war criminals and also people who can't answer the fucking question should not be the head of the CIA. I would much, ugh. I'd rather have John McCain if he recovers as the CIA director, because at least he knows we're not going to have torture. I've been through that shit, and I'm not going to let that happen. I don't know. I can't remember his accent. It's sad that we are going to, it's most like, she's most likely going to get the job, unfortunately. Although, although given Trump Trump nominee's histories, she'd probably have to resign or indict it. This is president whose cabinet has the most indictments in the 
in history, or at least in my lifetime, even Obama had, didn't have this much trouble with his cabinets. And at least he didn't pick, at least he was against torture. I'll tell you something, in 2020, although because of the Korean thing, the Korea thing, the Korean War, we are, Democrats are screwed in 2010. That's my video. May the force be with you.